Good. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at the H. Lee Dennison Building for a very important announcement. I'm joined by my uh, colleagues in government, and I want to recognize them, uh, particularly uh, our partners in the uh, legislature, uh, our presiding officer, Kevin McCaffrey, and our minority leader, Jason Richburg, both of whom will be speaking in just a few moments. We're also joined by uh, the Commissioner of the Suffolk County Department of Economic Development and Planning, Sarah Lansdale, and also uh, I want to recognize Director of Downtown and Transit Oriented Development, Jonathan Keyes, who's here with us as well. And uh, of course, the, uh, the head of the, uh, the co-chair of the Suffolk County Alliance of Chambers, uh, Bob Fonte. Uh, thank you, uh, Bob, for your work and, and uh, your work here in the county well, as well. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us here today for this important uh, announcement about an exciting program that will provide funding to support the growth and vibrancy of local businesses and downtowns here in Suffolk County. Our main streets, our downtowns are critical to the long-term success of, of our region and the county's economic development plan, uh, Connect Long Island, is centered around that fact. Uh, downtowns are the hearts of our, our communities. Uh, our downtowns are the places where we can create the kind of housing diversity uh, that we know our region needs and that will support, very importantly, small businesses. Uh, they're also the places where we can create a mix of uses that will reduce car trips and traffic on our roadways. And downtowns really, in many ways, are the heartbeat of communities, they're the community centers, they're the places where we gather. Um, I, I know the presiding officer can talk about that in Lindenhurst and, and uh, the minority leader as well in his district, the downtowns and the impact. And that is the case all across this county. And that's why they're so important uh, to the county as a whole, but to all of our businesses. So they are the place that allows us, enable us to create the kind of vibrancy that we need to attract young people and to uh, support innovators and entrepreneurs in the region. And as we continue to recover uh, from the economic impacts of the pandemic, and we certainly want to uh, acknowledge and thank uh, Senator uh, Chuck Schumer, the head of our congressional delegation and the members of the congressional delegation uh, for the support they have given uh, that allows us to make investments in the long-term health and sustainability of our county and of this region. Uh, and that's what this is about, and that's what this uh, program is about. It is essential that we provide the necessary support, and we can do so thanks to their support, to the many and varied uh, small businesses, arts and cultural institutions, organizations along with community uh, and uh, other groups that have made Suffolk County an ideal place to grow up, raise our families, and thrive as a supportive community. And so while we have witnessed substantial revitalization across the county um, over the last couple of years, as we emerge from the impacts, the economic impacts uh, of the pandemic, uh, we fully understand that more work remains to be done if we are to make sure that our downtowns are fully prepared for growth and expansion and, again, the kind of long-term sustainability uh, and economic vitality and health that we are all committed to here in Suffolk County. So that's why uh, I'm very proud to, to be here with my colleagues to introduce the Jump Smart Small Business Downtown Investment Program. The county will allocate $25 million to support projects and initiatives that expand the range of activities taking place in Suffolk County's downtowns and ensure that our local institutions remain economically competitive and culturally significant, give them the opportunity uh, to do so. The Jump Smart program aims to support and invigorate our Main Street communities by providing funding to local private and not-for-profit organizations such as arts and cultural institutions for instance for projects and initiatives that will ultimately stimulate consumer activity and enhance the operational capacity of all such entities the uh, key and one of the keys i should say uh, is making sure that we are contributing to the development of a vibrant downtown culture because we know, as I've said, all of the positive impacts that leads to uh, our community, our county overall. 
Applicants can request a minimum funding amount of $100,000. There's no cap on the funding level. We're looking for big proposals that provide a positive impact on our communities. The applications will be review, reviewed by professional staff in the Department of Economic Development and Planning, and determinations will be made by a selection panel consisting of key county officials from the legislative and executive branches of government, including representatives from my office, both the presiding officer, the minority leader of the county legislature, and the commissioner of economic development planning, and an advocate for our downtowns and small businesses. For more information about the Jump Smart uh, small Business Downtown Investment Program, I encourage you to visit our website at www.suffolkcountyny.gov slash jumpsmart. Uh, interested parties can apply through the proposal portal, which went live this morning and will remain open until the close of business on September 29th uh, later this month. We anticipate being able to uh, award uh, sometime in the fall uh, of 2023. Uh, again, uh, thank you for being here. We look forward to seeing the positive impact uh, that these awards will have on local businesses and on our downtowns as we all continue to work towards achieving a successful, thriving Suffolk County economically over the long term. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to my colleagues, uh, starting with our presiding officer, Kevin McCaffrey, and then our minority leader, Jason Richburg. Kevin. Thank, thank you. you, Steve. Thank you, and, and thank you for uh, bringing forward this initiative to help support our downtowns, which are the lifeblood of Suffolk County. Uh, someone who's came out of village government, spent almost 24 years as a uh, deputy mayor and trustee in the village of Lindenhurst, I understand the importance of the revitalizations of these downtowns. Uh, Lindenhurst has seen a transformation over the last uh, several years and has really brought that vibrancy that the county executive spoke uh, back to our downtown. It started with bringing transportation oriented development uh, into our village. We now have that, that vibrancy down there. We have young people coming. And the most important thing about when I go into Lindenhurst now, where, where, where I have lived for the last 40 years and where my, my office is located, a lot of times I don't recognize the people that are coming into the village. So I guess that's a good thing because people are coming from all over uh, into that village. The same thing is said for the village of Babylon. And we're also working on our other downtowns in my district, such as Copeg, which is, which is moving forward to try and establish their downtown. So we have many downtowns that are in the process of rebuilding, restructuring, or just revitalizing what they have right now. And I think that this grant program will go a long way towards making sure that we meet all the needs of our, our downtown. So it's a pleasure to be here and then support this program. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. And, um, you know, I think, uh, again, talking about those investments in our downtowns uh, that the presiding officer was just mentioning, uh, you know, an investment in um, downtowns that supports those small businesses in the downtown, not only help those particular businesses, uh, but those investments in our downtowns help everyone in the county by creating greater job growth, by creating vibrancy that keeps young people here, that, that, that creates housing opportunities that's important uh, for uh, promoting innovation and entrepreneurs and keeping them here as well. Uh, so the kind of uh, specific investments we're talking about here that strengthen our downtowns, and, and, and by the way, the people who come to the downtowns from other parts of the county too to enjoy you know, summer nights when there are activities and events happening, which we've seen happen in our downtowns. It is a benefit to everyone in the county, and that's why these investments are so important. And somebody who has been a, a major promoted, promoter of downtown revitalization and understands that not only in his district, but throughout the county, uh, our minority leader, Jason Richburg. Jason, thank you. Thank you. So thank you, Stephen. And one of the things that you've been doing over the last 12 years is investing in downtowns, yeah. understanding that creating transit-oriented development, creating downtown development projects, you know, investing in not just infrastructure but also in beautification has helped. And so this $100,000 minimum that you can get into a downtown area can transform it to the next level. I was just at an opening last night, last week, for uh, Angelo's in Amityville. Um, from it's a it's base of Angelo's in in. Um, in Brooklyn, and the whole and the business the owner said, you know, she used to come out here as a, as a kid, and she said she loved the downtown Amityville feel, and so she wanted to open up a business there, and 
So her and her brother came together, and they have a couple of restaurants all around the country, and they said, but Amityville is where they wanted to open up next. And these are the type of stories, whether it's Wednesdays in Wellwood or you know First Fridays in Patchogue, whatever it is, these downtown investments bring people to our communities. It brings more in economic development, and I think Bob will probably say it later, but I'll take it first, is that 50% of our economy comes from our small businesses. And because of that, if we keep investing in our small businesses, our economy will grow, and that will raise our incomes here in Suffolk County and also bring more people to buy our homes, live in our buildings, and use our community uses. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jason. And this program does work in conjunction with uh, the, as I mentioned, Connect Long Island Initiative, but the Jumpstart program, which uh, this legislature has uh, uh, supported uh, strongly over the years that that really brings money directly to municipalities to invest in our downtowns and this will help support this new uh, jump smart program uh, in conjunction with that helps to create investments in those downtowns and and initiatives that support small businesses um, uh, by uh, directing those resources to uh, not-for-profit and private organizations as well so uh, this really does represent a comprehensive approach uh, driven by uh, economic development and planning to help uh, create the kind of vibrancy and strength in our downtowns that support small businesses there and across the county and help all of us in Suffolk County. Uh, with that, happy to take any questions. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.